Next, let's take a look at adding sloped to our modifiers. So for this first area, I'm actually going to be working on the driveway. I'm going to go ahead and start drawing with the hardscape tool. So I'll come over here and for this first area, this first piece of hardscape that I'm going to do, it's going to come like maybe midway or less than the center of this pathway because this first part of the driveway is where all of the slope is going to be and then it's going to flatten out the further on, the further back it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing over here. I'll go ahead and I'll make this 10 feet wide. And then I'll close my shape. And so over here, let's look at the object info palette and sort of scroll down here. So under draw 3D, our 3D type is slab modifier top, and that's correct. And then here under the slope definition field, we have all of these different options. Now, so far we've been using none, which means that I don't have any slope associated with this hardscape, but we are gonna go ahead and add slope to that. The only difference between the other options that we have here is just the way that the arrow displays. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just pick downward ratio rise and run for mine, and I'll show you what that looks like. So over here, you can see that there is an arrow. And if I come and I grab my selection tool over here, there are four blue handles or points that I need to move in order to control which direction the slopes. So the elevation up here at the top of this portion of the driveway, we know that it's three feet up here. So over here in the object info palette, I'm gonna set the elevation to three feet. And then for the elevation at the end, that's gonna be here by the sidewalk. But I need to reposition this arrow so that it lines up correctly. So I'm gonna click on this center part right here. So where you have kind of that bull's eye icon, that is where your elevation is. So wherever this point is, it's gonna be set to three feet. So I wanna click and then click again here on the midpoint of the driveway, but at the very top edge. And then where you have these dotted lines right here, that's your contour line. And for the contour, normally you're just gonna to want to have that contour running along the edge, that top edge of your hardscape. And then this arrow right here, that's gonna coincide over here with the elevation at the end. And so I want that elevation to be here at the bottom of the driveway. Then I'm gonna come over here and the elevation at the end, I wanna change that to be one tenth of an inch. And so let's take a look at this in 3D. So you can see the top portion of the driveway, I can see that, the bottom portion of the driveway, I can see that, and then the rest of it's under the site model. Let's go ahead and grab the selection tool, click on the site model, and then come over here and update. And so now you can see that I have my driveway in here, at least the slope portion of the driveway. So the remainder of the driveway is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna come over here and grab the hardscape tool and just start drawing a rectangle. And then I need to come over here. I need to change the slope definition to none and then make sure that that elevation is at three feet. And once again, I still have a slab modifier on the top. And remember, it looks like my site model doesn't need to be updated, but because I have a little bit of meringue and because I have this candy cane striping, I do need to grab my selection tool and just update the site model. All the hardscapes that we've used so far include slab modifiers, but this next area that we're gonna work on are the stairs. And for that, we're gonna to need to create our own site modifier. So I'm gonna come over here in top plan view and we need to draw those stairs first of all. And so I'm gonna come and just draw a rectangle where the footprint of those stairs need to be. And then I am going to, with the box position here on the top edge, I know that I need six risers as well as six treads for these stairs. And so I'm simply gonna take the height and divide that by six. And that creates my first tread. When adding stairs to the landscape, 
I recommend that you use the extrude and auto hybrid commands to do that rather than the stair tool. And so we're going to go through all of those steps creating this staircase. So first up, I'm going to come over here and those steps are going to be concrete. So I'm going to change my active class to material and concrete. And then I'm going to come down here to the attributes palette and click on this utility menu right there and select make all attributes by class. So you can see I've got all of those arrows which indicate that it's the class style that I'm pulling from. And then I'm going to come to the modify menu and I'm going to extrude. And for this top stair, the top stair needs to align with the top of that pathway. And so this is going to be three feet. Click OK. So with my first extrude done, all I'm going to do is come over here and use the move by points tool and make sure that you're in the second mode for move and duplicate. And then over here for number of duplicates, since I want to have six treads and I already have one drawn, this number is going to be five. The first click is going to be in the upper left hand corner. The second click is going to be in the lower left hand corner. And there I have all of my treads. Now I do need to come in here and modify the elevations of everything else. So I'm going to come over here and grab the second tread from the top. And for that extrude, that's going to be 2.5 feet. The next one is going to be 2 feet. 1.5 feet. 1 foot. And 6 inches. Let's just take a look at this in 3D. That looks good. The other thing that I'd like to do before moving on is just to select all of these stairs. Make sure that they're on the correct design layer. I prefer to have stairs on the fences and wall design layer. So anything in my file that has some elevation to it, I put it on the fences and walls layer. Anything that is just a flat plane goes on the hardscape design layer. So let's come over here. They've been reassigned. But the next step is I need to come over here and go to Landmark, Architectural, Create Auto Hybrid. And that should have given me, um, that should have made these steps gray. So let's come over here and see if there's something up with that class. So I'm just going to right click and edit. And then it does have a gray to it, so click OK. And then what I need to do is double click so that I'm in the edit mode for the staircase. And then what I suspect is that my extrudes have the material um, concrete class assigned to them, but I bet the original rectangles that I used to make that don't. It's the class that that rectangle is assigned to that is going to affect the fill. So I just need to come over here and I am going to have to do this for every extrude. So I select the extrude, I double click, and that way when I select that shape, I'm looking at the rectangle over here in Object Info Palette. Click on that and then just reassign the class. So I'll exit that extrude, go to the third stair, double click on that, then click on the rectangle and change that class to Material Concrete. Just keep repeating that process. All right, now I'm ready to exit everything. And it looks correct both in top plan view as well as in 3D view.